What's up guys and girls, witches and wizards, muggles and no mages. Viv here from Just Cosplay Sings. Today's video is the episode 1 of Just Cosplay Sings Things where I will be taking you through a little bit of my collection over the last couple of years. I will take you through some of the items in my Harry Potter collection. Got my Gryffindor shirt on. Now you can't be a witch or wizard without this. I bought this wand from one of those feeling lucky boxes at the Harry Potter store in Melbourne. As you all know, the reason behind actually buying a wand out of those lucky dip boxes, number one, because it's cheaper, and number two, <laughs> because we all know the wand chooses the witch or the wizard, not the other way around. And the one that had the misfortune of choosing me is belonging to Draco Malfoy. I took one of those quizzes that sort you into houses and apparently I'm half Gryffindor and half Slytherin, so I guess that makes sense. The second thing I would like to show you is this cool mug. It says, Dobby is a free elf. It's even got Dobby's face on the back. This mug was actually a gift to me and the story behind this gift is we had a Harry Potter themed party where everyone went in full costume. And what did I do? I rocked up in a pillowcase. Yes, I went as Dobby. I had a, a pillowcase that said free elf on the front and free elf at the back. And I even had my little pointy ears going and all the witches and wizards that were passing by kind of gave me a pat on the head said good Dobby, Dobby is a free elf! Um, which reminds me I also have these two socks or the two pairs of socks, sorry I should say that says Dobby has no master, Dobby is a free elf cool socks the third thing I would like to show you is a super cool item an ordinary looking black mug just watch this And look what it transforms into. This mug reacts with hot water, so if you put hot liquid in it, it goes from black to the Marauder's Map. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Remember, only pumpkin juice for this and not something else. The third piece that I'd like to show you actually comes in a set. And let's start with the mug, shall we? More mugs for your pumpkin juice. It says Harry Potter here and it has the Gryffindor crest on the back. I did say it comes in a set. Ta-da! Also has Harry Potter in the front and the crest on the back for your pumpkin soup. Whoops! This one here I think is an entree dish. Should you want to feast yourself in one of those massive feasts that um, Hogwarts always seems to have, you can use this dinner plate. Look at the size of it. and. Um, it's got a massive big crest in the front as well. So nice and shiny. Here's another cool thing that I've collected over the last couple of years. And I've had to turn the brightness down on this one and you'll see why. This is a Triwizard Cup from the Triwizard Cup tournament in Harry Potter, the Goblet of Fire. Now this looks like an ordinary um, Triwizard Cup, but I will show you what it does. Ta-da! It is actually a bedside lamp. Not a very bright one. Wouldn't actually recommend this for a bedside lamp, but it lights up. It's so cool! And that's it for today, guys and girls, witches and wizards, muggles and no mages. The next episode, we will be featuring this little guy. For those of you that don't know, his name is Totoro from the movie My Neighbor Totoro or Tonari no Totoro from the animation studio Studio Ghibli. I am rather ashamed to say that I have spent way too much money on this franchise and some of the stuff that I bought. We might have to split that into two episodes because that's just the amount of stuff that I have collected. Till next time, mischief managed.